Hey guys, welcome to Big Joe and Malia's World. What are we cooking today? Meatloaf. Not just any meatloaf, guys. Bacon wrapped meatloaf. I have had a request for my take on meatloaf. So today I'm gonna make bacon wrapped meatloaf. And I will include the entire recipe at the end of the vlog. So here's the ingredients. First thing you gotta have, ground beef, and I've already put that into the mixing bowl. Then you've gotta have eggs, green bell peppers diced, diced onions, minced garlic, Breadcrumbs. Now you can use any kind of breadcrumbs, but I've used I'm using Italian breadcrumbs because it just gives a little more flavor. Worcestershire sauce and salt and pepper, and of course, bacon. All right. First thing we're going to do is make a glaze for this meatloaf, and what we put in the glaze is ketchup, brown sugar, and sriracha sauce, and we're just going to mix it up, kind of get the brown sugar dissolved just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect because that brown sugar will melt as the meatloaf cooks. And we're just going to set that aside. Alright, so this recipe is fairly easy. All you have to do is just add all of these ingredients to your mixing bowl with the ground beef. Everything. Just dump it in there. Garlic. Onions. Green peppers. Breadcrumbs. Eggs. And Worcestershire sauce and salt and pepper. All right. Then all you got to do is just mix it together. All right, once you get all your meat mixture together, you want to line a loaf pan with bacon and kind of overlap them and have them overlap on the sides. Then what you want to do, you want to take a little bit of your mixture your sriracha, ketchup, brown sugar mixture. Put it on the bottom. Just like that. All right. Then you want to take your meat mixture put it in the pan As much as it will hold anyway this might have to make two but for now and you want to press it down is press it down good so it'll form the loaf shape and you want to make sure you get it all the way to the top of the pan Press it down good. Make sure you get it all in the corners and all along the sides. All right. Once you get that done, if the bacon will overlap, you can overlap the pieces. Some of them aren't big enough. And if they aren't, you can just take some extra bacon and just lay it on the top. Just like that. And make sure you press it down really firm. Alright, once you get everything pressed in the in the loaf pan, what you want to do, you want to take a an aluminum foil lined 9 by 13 pan, sprayed with cooking spray, and you want to put it on top of your loaf pan. 
and invert it. <laughs> and your meatloaf comes out. All right, before it goes into the oven, you wanna take the rest of your glaze. Just pour it over the top. Doesn't have to be perfect, because it's all just gonna bake away anyway. Spread it out and just let it drip down the sides. All right, and we are going to bake this meatloaf in a 350 degree oven for one hour. All right, guys, an hour and 15 minutes later, the meatloaf is out of the oven, and here's what the finished product looks like. So let's get, let's cut a slice of this and see how Big Joe likes it. All right, guys, the moment of truth. Let's see what Big Joe thinks about the bacon wrapped meatloaf. Blow it so I don't burn my little mouth like I did <laughs> in that other video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's good. <laughs> it's got bacon on it. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. I'm not huge on meatloaf, and that's the best meatloaf I've ever eaten. Really, and I'm not just saying that. That is great. That, that glaze is something else. It's out of this world, man. That is good meatloaf. And like I said, you can put bacon on a dead cat and make it taste good. Try one more bite. Gotta get some of that bacon up on it. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Guys, that is amazing. And you know what Big Joe says. I got five words for it. Mmm, 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 mmm. All right, guys, that's it for the bacon wrap meatloaf. If you try this recipe, please leave us a note in the comments of this vlog. We would love to know how you like this recipe. Also, if you've got something you want us to try, leave us a message with that, too. We'd love to try all your recipes. We've gotten several requests, and we're a few behind, but we're getting to them, guys. We sure are, but keep those recipes coming. We love to try all your recipes. And as always, guys, thank you for allowing a little bit of Big Joe and Malia's world into your world. Have a great day, guys. See you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Big Joe Malia's World.